What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I wanted to talk about AMC a little bit. I wanted to give you a look about, you know, what the chart is looking like, also go through some details and what I feel is going to happen and uh, really thoughts and predictions, not only for next week, but just, you know, the long term. when I feel like we're gonna get to the end game of owning this position, what it's gonna look like in the end. So before I get started, please hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one and make sure that you get free stocks with Webull down below. Don't forget to check out some of the credit card links. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this was because AMC is a big deal right now, right? I have a number of shares in AMC. A lot of people thought that AMC would skyrocket just based on the fact that they had a number of shares that were shorted and a lot of people wanted to buy into this. Well, like I said in other videos, variables have changed. You know, the amount of people that want to invest into this have diminished, have uh, shrunken down a little bit and actually not just a little bit, have shrunken down a lot. Going from basically a billion um, volume in a day to basically, uh, I don't know, 30, 30 million or so, or a hundred million at times, but it's just not enough. It's not as much as we've seen in the past. So if we look into this chart, you can see exactly when things started to um, fall off and when people got um, uninterested in it. So once you really uh, jump up here and they restricted trading, a lot of people got uninterested in this and that's where it dropped down you know, um, where they stopped the trading and um, it went all the way down to basically like $6, right? And then it started to come up a little bit where people got interested, seen it come up again, but then something happened to where it dropped down again. And then once it hit its, uh, its low again, um, a lot of people lost interest. You know, a ton of people dropped off. They still were monitoring it to understand what the interest is, what the short interest is, what the, um, what the short percentage is, but it just wasn't big enough and you could see that a lot of the volume did drop down a significant amount and it just took everyone out of these positions they basically said you know what i'm done i'm cutting my losses i'm moving to something that's more volatile especially with a lot of the other distractions that were out there like silver like cannabis you know like uh, nokia like blackberry like all of these other distractions that had potential lower price potential um a lot of movement potential basically growing at 100 or 200 percent and that's the whole reason why it kind of tapered off. It wasn't the fact that people just weren't interested in having it grow and seeing that position go up. It's just, it seemed like the hedge funds were finding a way to win. And uh, a lot of people gave up. So once people start to give up, you know, it, it's kind of over, right? So a lot of people are asking me, is this going to continue to pop? Is it going to be something that's going to grow really fast? Um, and I can't tell you that it is. And I said this in the past, you know, I want to be as honest as possible. I want to be as transparent as possible. And the whole reason why I wanted to uh, jump into this was because I did see the huge pop that it could have had. Um, and I did see the fact that people were interested in it because I invested in, um, basically if I wanted to go back to the chart, uh, basically I invested in, um, right when it was going up. So in the day where it went down to six, 600 or $6, sorry, um, I invested basically at the $12 mark. And then when it went down again, I invested in again at like $9 and I'm in totally at $9 and 38 cents of a cost basis. So this is when a lot of people thought that the potential was for it to still go up. And uh, obviously as time went on, I seen more and more potential. A lot of other people are seeing more and more potential, but then it got to recent days and you could see how the interest died off. Now, a lot of people are thinking that this is not going to be a short-term play and that the stock value the stock value is a lot higher than what it was or what it's saying. So being at $5.59, it's a lot higher than that. Um, it's something that should be around that $10, $15 mark in the long term. But that's basically what they're saying in the summertime, you know, when it when it hits after you know, all of this ends after the pandemic ends is going to be something that people get into again. So if you have a lot of money in there, it's something that you're probably going to be, you're going to have to sit on really. Um, and if you can't sit on it, then you're going to have to sell and you're going to have to take the losses. So this is where I start to get stuck because there's a lot of people that are in it at these high prices, maybe $17, maybe $20 and thinking that it is going to skyrocket to a hundred dollars. And to tell you the truth, I thought the same thing. I thought it was going to push, but the problem is, is that a lot of variables did change. You know, it's not just the fact that we um, wanted to see the squeeze. We wanted to see how many shorted shares are out there. And even if we still have a high percentage of shorted shares, if the interest is not there, it doesn't matter. It's not going to squeeze. So that's the case. You know, you still have shorted shares. Um, you still have um, high short interest, but uh, you don't have the interest. You don't have the people that 
are interested in buying this and um, purchasing this at this low price. They're interested in selling it um, more often than not. So there's still a lot of people um, holding these positions, which is our saving grace, but it's not enough. We still need people to buy it in order to drive the price up. So um, my ultimate uh, decision and what I think my goal will be is the fact that I want to wait it out. And a lot of people are saying it's not going to get to $15 or $10 or $15 until the summertime. And I want to wait it out until it gets close so that I can actually take my losses. I don't want to take a loss of $6,000 on there. I would like to take a loss of less than $3,000. And if I do, then I should be fine to continue to invest in Maybe I can put more money into there as it starts to get lower, but I don't know if we will see any type of pop, but I do want it to get up to maybe the $7 mark, um, $8 mark, and that would be great. But I'm not 100% sure if it will in the short term. It's just not something that's showing me um, that it will push. So uh, let me know what you think about AMC. It's very tough and I'll continue to follow it. I'll continue to track it. It's not something that I'll focus on 100%, but if my money's still in there, I'm going to focus on it a little bit. So if you're interested in seeing some other stuff, I will have other things that I go over, other um, topics that I go over. But I believe AMC and GameStop are pretty much at their you know breaking point. They're kind of flat and they're going to stay there. I think uh, GME might be really tough to, to handle and it might be something that actually decreases more. But AMC is something that I believe will stay around that $5.00. Uh, maybe push down to $4 mark, not saying it will push down to exactly $4, just within 4 and $5. Um, but eventually it's going to continue to, to move up, slowly but surely move up, I'll tell you that. So AMC is definitely something that I'm interested in and I'll continue to be interested in it, but I really want to see it get up to my break even point so I can get out, maybe get in at a lower point and invest other places because I put a large amount of money in there in order to uh, lower the cost basis which I could have potentially did more, um, but I just didn't feel like doing that. So let me know what you think about AMC. Are you on the same track as me? Do you feel as though it's going to still have a big squeeze? Um, I put a poll out talking about this and a lot of people thought that, you know, it would be somewhere in between, you know, whether we would have just um, an increase, like slight increases or whether it would be a slow moving increase. That's what a lot of people think. So yeah, let me know exactly what you think. Uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Don't forget to check out some of the links down below. Uh, get your free stocks with Weeble. All you have to do is sign up, uh, basically click the link, sign up, and then deposit $100 and you'll get free stocks. Uh, also, if you could check out some of my credit card links, if you're interested in credit cards and getting rewards, you'll get larger bonuses if you do sign up using my links. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, so much for being I'm interested in AMC and GME because obviously I'm interested. So if you're interested and I'm interested, then you know we can have this conversation back and forth. So let me know what you're thinking, but I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.